She just was a sweet baby. She just was lovable. And now they're hoping someone who knows what happened will come forward and tell law enforcement what they know about the person responsible for killing Ranzaya. Eight-year-old Ranzaya Atkins, affectionately known by friends and family as Biggs or Zaya, was a sweet and lovable child that was so full of life. She loved to dance and spend time with her loved ones. According to her family, she has somewhat of an old soul and, in their words, had been here before. She was one of the main children in her family who would always help out with her grandmother. Around 7.15 p.m. on the evening of February 4th, Ronzaya, along with her siblings and cousins, were playing outside on the front porch and yard area at a home on the 500 block of Southeast 1st Street when, out of nowhere, the sounds of gunshots rang out. Her godbrother immediately rushed the children into the home and into a back bedroom where they were instructed to get down on the floor. After the gunshots stopped, they realized Ronzaya never made it into the house. Eight-year-old girl killed by gun violence in Belle Glade, who family have identified as Ranzaya Adkins. Family says the shooting happened outside that girl's home in the 500 block of Southeast 1st Street around 7.15 last night. Initially, police had no suspects in the case, and along with family, urged anyone with information to come forward. A $25,000 reward was put together for any information leading to an arrest. Unbelievably, shots were fired once again at the same home where Ronzaya just lost her life. New developments at noon in the shooting death of an eight-year-old girl in Belle Glade. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office confirming that shots were fired at that same home around 840 last night and we're told nobody was struck in that case. This comes just days after Ronzaya Atkins was killed in a drive-by shooting while she was playing outside her home Friday. The next day after the shooting, a group of people consisting of Ronzaya's classmates, friends, and family gathered for a heartbreaking vigil to say their last goodbyes to the beautiful eight-year-old known as Biggs. Children clutched pink and white balloons and cried for their friend as Zaya's family played a series of R&B ballads. A poster of Zaya in a pink and white outfit overlooked the ceremony from the front porch lit by candles and TV camera lights. A family in mourning, devastated that the child who was playing on her front porch just a day earlier is now gone. Heartbroken, pain. She my last baby sister. She was only just a little kid. She fell right here. It just... All the breath went out of her. And it's a shame. This is a tragedy. Her godbrother, Deontay, was outside as well and tried to hurry everyone inside when the shots rang out. During that chaos, he says he heard Ronzaya being a hero before getting shot, helping save her family from the gunfire. She was telling her niece to go inside. Don't worry about her, just go inside. And once I heard the first shot, I was pushing them like, come on, come on, come on. Everybody go in the back room and get down. Everybody go in the back room and get down. Sadly, Zaya never made it to safety. When I walked outside, I saw her just laying there. So I grabbed her and I put her in my arms. And I was like, come on, Zaya, come on. One, two, three. We love you, man. She just was a sweet baby. She just was lovable. Please go to the police station and, t and, and, tell, and tell the truth. Because this innocent child did not have nothing to do with nothing. At Ronzaya's elementary school, administrators arranged to have grief counselors on campus upon students' return the following Monday, along with an emotional support dog provided by the school district's police department. Three days later, with the help of Broward County Police, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office arrested 20-year-old Andrew Thomas in Coral Springs, Florida. He was charged with first-degree murder with a firearm, attempted first-degree murder, and possession of a firearm. Thomas appeared before a Broward County judge in bond court the day after his arrest on unrelated charges. He was convicted on charges of an unrelated robbery in 2019 and sentenced to six years probation. According to the police report, deputies carried out a search warrant and found Thomas at a home armed with a loaded gun. The home was being rented out by the popular TikTok rap duo known as the Island Boys. One of the Island Boys' brothers, Alex Venegas, was home when the SWAT team stormed their house, and Thomas ran toward him with a handgun and extended magazine. 
He then asked him to hide the weapon, at which point he refused. The TikTok stars have not been implicated in the investigation.